Hey everyone, this is Demisius, and this is my series of Pokemon X and Y, Gotta Catch Em All, getting all 718. I recorded this yesterday, but had some problems with sound, so this is um, afterwards, and I'll do some voiceover. I thought that's maybe better than nothing, and so I can explain a little bit what I want to do in this series. Pokemon X and Y just came out, and there are about 60 new Pokemon, a bit more. And my goal is to catch all of the Pokemon from all of the series. So I will start at X and Y and catch all the Pokemon that are obtainable in X and Y. And then I will go backwards and catch all the other Pokemon that aren't in the new games. And pretty much just go game for game. Um, so at the end I have all 718, probably in the Pokemon bank because there aren't enough boxes to have 718 on one cartridge out of ones. And yeah, we're gonna get in the game right here. I'm obviously a boy. You can hear that my voice, can't you? Nobody of those guys looks like me, but the middle one is at least ethnicity wise in my direction. You know my name by now, it's Dermosius, it's my real name, it's a really weird German name, no it's not. I streamed these first episodes of uh, my playthrough and um, you're gonna see and hear later on in the next episodes that I'm not that talkative at the start but I hope that I will get better at it. But the uh, Messiah is très bien, what a fantastic name. The adventure begins now. This is probably gonna be a very long series because I've seen on Reddit that some people uh, got all the Pokemon on black and white or black and white too and they needed about 3 to 400 hours and as you're gonna see in the beginning it's pretty easy to catch some Pokemon and get your team full but later on it gets harder and harder to catch the Pokemon with just Hyper Balls and even just finding them because some are just rare or in swarms or they're legendaries and you can't use the Master Ball more than once. But that's in the future. For now we concentrate on the beginning of the game, dress up and go down. with our mom. You maybe hear that there's some problems with the sound. I tried to get it right by doing the intro again and using that sound with the old um, video. So I don't have to start all over again. At least Figlemic told me in the chat that there are some problems with the sound so I could start over or at least let's say um, work with the sound after around 20 minutes so it's really just the first episode where I do this really annoying voiceover and after that it gets more laid back. We're in the Carlos region and we have a lot of friends here, although we just moved here. We're the new kid in town, like in almost all games or Japanese animes, the new kid on the block. Let's get our first Pokemon.
Look at this wide array of characters. It's a whole rainbow of hair color. This is Potemus, yes! You have the fat dancing kid. You have the little geek. Everyone can identify with someone. Should they call me D-Master? I don't think so. Lily? Nah. Give me a nickname. How about Big D? Oh yeah. If I'm called the D, then it's the Big D, right? No innuendo, just a good nickname. It fits perfectly. The brown hat chick says. So let's get our Pokemon. Starters here, Chespin, Grass type, Fennekin, Fire type, and the Water type Pokemon for a geek. But I'm Team Fennekin. Most of all, because I'm a real fan of Squirtle, and so I want to pick Squirtle later on. And I think it works best with Fennekin at the start. So I received Fennekin, my first Pokemon. And I put it in my list that you see on top through the whole playthrough. It's my Pokemon Uber list where I always write in when I catch, yeah, caught, that word, caught a Pokemon, or when one evolved. And you're gonna see in it in what part of my YouTube videos I caught Pokemon. So if you don't watch every episode and you just wanna see, how I caught a specific Pokemon, you can go to the list and just see in which episode I did that. And then just watch this video. I don't mind. But I would like if you watch all the videos. It's basically the Pokedex. It's National Pokedex I work with, so I have all the 718 on one list. Here in the new game, next and Y, you have three different Pokedexes for the regions, and now we just got the Central Region Pokedex. And obviously we get a letter from the professor that I have to give my mom, because that's what professors do to the new kid and their celebrity moms. She wants to pick D, but she wants to battle. And she battles with Chespin, so that's a really good start for me with Fennekin. Fire against Grass, not a bad matchup. Go Fennekin! And I obviously used my first and only fire attack today, Ember. Bam! That's super effective. So, goodbye, Chespin. Thank you for wisdom. stats for those who like to talk about them. I haven't gotten that much into stats already for Pokemon. Maybe later on. But now I'm just 
really looking out to catching as many as I can. But before that I have to give the freaking letter to my mom. Running some errands. And she looks like the really cool mom. She doesn't seem concerned at all that I'm like 10 years old and running away because I have level 7 Pokemon. But well, it seems like she did the same thing. So she packs me some stuff and then we can go. Starting our adventure of hundreds of hours of catching Pokemon. All oh, right, she seems to be a Raihorn racer, which is a thing now. And we know how to use a town map. It's not our first Pokemon game, is it? in tall grass? You would think that a kid that lives in the Pokemon world for 10 years or so knows that there are Pokemon in tall grass, but whatever. Let's kill the Pidgey and go on. Although we can't say kill, can we? Not in a PG-7 game, PG-3, whatever it is. PG-7, Peggy. Her parents are awesome. They know everything. They caught a Pokemon. Because this is awesome. all that intro stuff really happens in the first 20 minutes and after that you really just make your own adventure and you, you really know everything by then. I remember that in earlier games you really had to run errands for like the first hour or so and couldn't catch that many Pokemon until you had like two badges. And here you really can catch at least seven, eight, nine Pokemon right in the first 20 minutes. And that's awesome. But I don't want to take too much before we get there.
Good luck to you too. So the Gotta Catch Em All basically starts now. Let's get that one and be. It looks kind of funny with his ear hands. I still love my early game Ratata, but that's that's really good too. Sweet rabbit. Gotcha. And that's our second Pokemon. 716 to go. And there you see the Pokedex. Or at least the OU of it. They use their large ears to dig burrows. Well, that's kind of practical. I guess that's how evolution works. If your hands are too small, it just grows hands on your ears. Ember! Get it off! I'm fighting pretty one-dimensional here in the beginning. If I want to kill something, I use my Ember attack. If I don't want to kill it, I use Scratch. fighting gets more intense over time. For now it's just those two attacks basically. They are some fine attacks though. And even that, that's really efficient. She can heal your Pokemon right there in the first forest. You do have those Pokeballs that you get. So it's really just, you get thrown in, play the game, try it out. And we're like 10 minutes in, and we're already at catching our third Pokemon. And it's a Caterpie. Oh wow, I love the Caterpie. When I first saw it, wasn't there a Caterpie in the first episode of the anime? Or in the second? I think it's the first Pokemon that Ash catches. I think that's why I loved it. So it's one of the first Pokemon you catch here too. And everything coming together. How beautiful. I hear some of the sound issues. I'm sorry. Really working on it. I do.
And there's the Pidgey copy. You have the Bunnelby, the little rodent, and Fletchling, the little bird. Does that ring a bell? If you ever played a Pokemon game, you it should. Maybe that becomes my slave later on. To so use fly on. Cut. All these weak attacks you don't want to give to your good Pokemon, but you need them on the journey. already got four Pokemon. Not long until we have to use boxes. Fletching. These friendly Pokemon send signals to one another with beautiful chirps and the fans. So. Bug trainers who think that they are bugs with level 6 or whatever are really good Pokemon. Maybe that's the reason you don't get out of the first forest. Level 3 Scatterbug. Yeah, you're dead. Very, very fast. Scratch. It uses obviously Scratch too because it won't, won't kill me. Oh, and they play nice together. A lot of cute Pokemon in the beginning. Look at its smile. It doesn't even know it's in a fire, and I'm gonna catch it and slave it for my fights. But that what's happened. So Punk Group also caught. That's everything for the first episode. Stay around for more. Like I said, a bit more laid back. The long journey ahead of us. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. See you later.